You know how when you have added a new feature to your plugin or, you know, just updated something, even if it's just one line of code, you have to compile your plugin and then restart the whole server or reload the plugins, which can be pretty time consuming if you add it all up. Well, when you use a tool called Hot Swap Agent, and this is a completely free tool, by the way, I'm not sponsored by anyone or plugin anything. All you need to do is literally press a few buttons on your keyboard and then the class is reloaded and you will see the changes in your plugin in real time in the game. Now, I've already made a video about how to download Hot Swap Agent and JetBrains Runtime, which you'll need with it. And that should be in a card in the corner at the moment. Watch that either now or after this video because, you know, you're going to need it. But when you've done that, I'll show you how to get it set up specifically for Minecraft development. So you're going to want to go to your IDE. <laughs> Don't mind this. This is just for testing. And... I already have my server running, just shut that down. And then you wanna go to the run slash debug configurations, make a new one, a uh, jar application, but I've already done it, so I'll just show you what I've done. So I'm gonna delete that and go to this. Right, so the path to your jar should be the path to your server jar. So, you know, whether that's spigot, paper, I'm using purple, which is a performance fork of paper, a performance fork of a performance fork, yeah, I know. And then, your working directory needs to be the directory that your server jar is in. So basically this, but without the purple one, two, whatever. Otherwise, you're just going to get a bunch of server files in whatever directory it is working in. And you don't want that because it won't be the same server that you're working on. And, you know, <laughs> that's just not what you want. And then these VM options, I, you know, explain them in the video please go and watch that because it will be too lengthy to explain here. And also the JRE, which is the JetBrains runtime, which I will show you how to do there. But I'm just gonna quickly show you this functionality, right? So whenever you wanna reload your class, oh, I should probably first start my server, that'd be a good idea. You don't have to do this every time, but obviously you need to initially start it up. So go to debug, and it's important that you go to debug, don't press run, uh, but yeah, debug specifically on the configuration that you just made, and you don't have to compile your plugin before that. I mean, obviously you need to compile your plugin to get the, to get a working plugin jar, like originally, but then what the server does is it loads that, it loads the classes, and then you can work on that as if it is part of the server jar, so you can just reload the classes you know, from here. There we go, yeah, 38 seconds. That is actually on the lower end because I've been seeing, mainly on Windows, but I've been seeing like a lot higher than that recently. Yeah, just um, pointing out, this should work on Windows, but as I point out in the video that I am strongly suggesting you watch in order to actually do this, this seems to work better for me personally on Linux like a lot better because I don't know what it is, but uh, the JBR JetBrains runtime, which is one of the things you need, seems to run so, so slowly on Windows. I tried to start my server with it yesterday. Instead of saying 38 here, it said 900. And <laughs> that's not really workable, even if it is just an initial thing because the server was extremely laggy like you could barely even do anything on it so i do recommend you download linux at least until that thing is fixed if you can find a way around that great do that linux is a better operating system for development anyway as i'm sure you know so if you aren't already using it i suggest considering it uh but yeah just with that in mind might be an extra step but it's a relatively easy one and you know i do think the time investment it's not that much of a time investment. It probably will pay off. Like I said, if you can get it working on Windows, even better. So what you want to do to reload a class is Control, Shift, and then F9. And as you can see, it's compiling there. And here it says loaded classes are up to date. That's fine. We should expect that, you know, if they actually are up to date. So let's make a change here. Well, actually, no, first let me show you what, what this does so I can show you that it actually has an impact in the game. You know, if I do get ping here, it says hello world. Now, just comment this out so it won't say hello world anymore and it'll actually get on with the main function of the command. And then, control shift F9. 
one class are reloaded as quick as that. Come back, get ping, and it tells me my ping, which, you know, because this is local, is zero, <laughs> thankfully. There's something wrong if it isn't zero on your local machine. But yeah, that was a lot quicker, I think you can see, than, you know, even reloading your plugin, which is quicker. It's not, <laughs> you know, as good as restarting your server because some plugins don't accept that. But even then the basic, basically the quickest alternative, it's better than that. So I really suggest that you do this. <laughs> Just a quick little shout out as well. Yeah, so this guy, Kangarko, I'll leave a link to his video in the description. He originally gave me the idea for this. He has a more primitive version of this, which uses a pretty outdated framework like methodology whatever uh and it's extremely limited so you can't like delete or restructure methods uh in your code really it, but with this theoretically there should be no limits this guy originally put me onto the idea that yeah you can hot swap your plugins which is an amazing idea i don't know how i didn't think of that earlier especially when i was spending so much time restarting my server but can't get that back anymore <laughs> i wish i could but you know that's life bro i could have got so much more done <laughs> yeah but thanks to this guy i've dropped him a little subscribe because he helped me so much uh with this idea but yeah i think that this method of doing it is a hundred times better maybe i'm exaggerating a little bit there but yeah no so if you want check out this guy's video as well it is a pretty outdated way of doing it no like hate to the guy or whatever because this is a really good idea uh but it's just this in my opinion is a much better way of doing it right i've been yapping a lot this video but yeah i do hope this saves you a significant amount of time i hope you have enjoyed it if you know you do like this please leave a like and subscribe because i have spent like the last few days trying to get this to work because i can't really find much on it you know if you would leave a like subscribe let me know if this has helped you in the comments. And I hope that I'll see you in the next video. See ya.